Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you more solemnly, one of you would betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering which he meant. The disciple Jesus loved was reaching next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, ask who it is he meant. In today's reading, we see Jesus troubled in his human nature with the kind of suffering he is going to pass through. The most painful suffering is the one caused by those who are close to us. For the psalmist says, if an enemy has done this, I won't be bothered, but it is you, my friend and brother, who shared my meal. So it was with the case of Judas betraying Jesus. Who is it, Lord? Jesus replied, to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. The act of betraying a friend is equivalent to killing that friend. Judas was the first to have killed Jesus before the Jews brings it to reality. Jesus' suffering and death wasn't the end of it, all but was the beginning of an end. In the midst of the trial, Jesus never forgot to call upon the Father when he felt abandoned. Like Jesus, at various points in our suffering, we encounter rejection, betrayal, denial and consequently persecution. But the cry of Jesus should rebuild our confidence, that we may cry out in confidence to God, saying like the psalmist, In you, O Lord, I take refuge, let me never be put to shame. In your justice rescue me, set me free, pay heed to me and set me free. After Jesus' suffering and death, God the Father glorified him, for after the cross comes the crown. The story of salvation is marked with betrayal, persecution, suffering and abandonment. Have you been betrayed, abandoned by your loved ones? Look upon Christ as your model for consolation in moments of difficulties in life's journey.